Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing a version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Gata Jam. The Gata Community Game Jam was a game jam that challenged developers to use the open source engine Gata to make games around the theme Temperature. I'll be playing all of the games that are entered this jam for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games in the description so you can check them out further. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites on BigBossBattle.com. If you like what I do, you can support any of my content via Patreon or check me out on various other social media platforms. All links in the description. Alright, next. I'm playing Fire and Ice. I seem to be a little green. I seem to be a dead green blob. And it looks like I just get, get gems, but I need to be a different color to get this gem. Give me the blue gem. Hmm. I get the green gem. Yay! I'm gonna fall off because I jumped down on this one for whatever reason. Darn it. It's a very interesting little game. These red and blue sparkly ones give us more color. Or less color? Now oh, we're blue. Let me turn green again. I guess it can be green. Nope. Or not. <laughs> How much red could I be? It's pink. Next. We're playing chill, bro dot. <laughs> I froze. So I'm supposed to like jump around and collect those fire blocks. Not enough. Mm, I'm ooh, okay. I fell through. I, there isn't a lot of them, so collecting them to stay warm has to be done a lot. It's a very simple game, but everything works. I like that falling doesn't kill you for whatever reason, you just come back. Uh, get more fire, I'm working on it. Oh. Maybe it does reset you. Mm. Next. We're playing Floor is Lava. Yeah, of course I'm standing on the lava, how do I... Ooh, I'm not sure if I like the way the mouse is being read because it seems, in my opinion, to be quite backwards to how I'm moving. But I mean, the floor is lava, so... I don't seem to be taking any damage. So I feel like... Ooh, okay, so you have to like really light up the tile to take damage. I don't know how to reset it, though. Like, is it this thing? Because those are too high. They just kind of look like lights. Estoy salidad. Hmm. I don't know. Next. We're playing heat gun. We definitely have a heat gun. We definitely are being, like, hardcore attacked instantly. This is difficult. This is so difficult. Oh, I killed him. Do you also need to die? Yay! Go grab that. Please stop attacking me. It's fine. Now there's three of them. You'd think shooting more with my heat gun would make it overheat more. And then thus giving me more heat. Nope. Okay, I've got that crystal. Ice guards, five. This one has two. Alright. This is five health, two health. Just hit him. Yay. 
Oh, there's a crystal somewhere. Okay. Next. We're playing Hot Iron Gauges. I'm playing it with an Xbox controller because why not? I feel like it's quite loud though. Is it quite loud? It is. Fixed. Who's gonna fight? I need to let off steam. Just that one. They kind of fought each other, you know? I like how there's like a wall of enemies. But we need to walk in a bit, we run into each other, and then do whatever we need to do to kill each other. I don't really understand. Alright, we need to switch furnaces, I guess. So we got these. We gotta switch to this one. There we go. And then it'll automatically when we're near them. Cool. Let out heat. So we're gonna like fill up this one. We can move forward though. Like we can keep moving. That's the middle one does. Let's move. I feel like they died so fast. Next. We're playing Choveki. Sure. That is day to move. Okay. Eat snails to gain and salt to lose mass. Size. Eating either gives you points. Big guys don't like heat. Small guys don't like cold. Don't overheat or overfreeze. Alright, I'm this little slime guy. Hello. Why am I so sad? Nom nom nom. I can't eat you yet. Nom nom nom. Need little salt bricks and also little slime bits. Well, snails. Live snails just adventuring around. I'm eating them. So it looks like you just gotta stay in the cool or stay in the heat, basically. And also eat stuff. It's a pretty simple game. I wish I wasn't such a sad slime. Like, what's there to be sad about? You're eating all of this stuff. Having a good time. We will buy cold, yeah. Fail. Next. We're playing Califaction. Alright. Please do not hurt me. These are bad things. I will live with them, I guess. I don't really understand what I'm doing besides exploring around. Hmm. I think we're just supposed to fly around. We can increase and decrease our speed. We're looking for some sort of exit, I think. Let's go this way. Yeah. Because everything's made of blocks, and like some blocks you obviously can't touch while other blocks you can, it makes things a bit confusing. Leave me alone. They seem to be much better about moving around than I am. This is a dead end. Oh no. Yeah, next. We're playing nuclear car. Ah, uh, so this human. I wanna grab some bottles. I don't know, some meat. That's all I can have, okay. And then we give him to the car, I guess. Because we don't want the car to overheat. One, two, okay. There you go, car. Maybe we can have this one. We're here. This car is a bit annoying to keep filling up. It's getting warmer and warmer. I just, I just should, I should just leave it to explode. Quite like the background music. Next. 
We're playing Meltdown Hydro Cooler Force. Cool. These graphics are good. I need to go up here. Well, this is about as fast as I could go. Music feels like I should go intensely faster. And I can't actually make that last jump. So. Like, to up there is what I mean. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be like putting out fires in here or something. So it feels like I have a hose. Yeah, I am putting out fires. The fires are so high up. The plant went down into meltdown. Alright. So you have like such a big arc. Even go again. Who knows? I don't think it was actually. Next, we're playing Pew Pew's Cooling Crisis. Dr. Pew has created a machine to mix two different species. He mixed a cat with a snake to make a snake cat. Okay. That's us. Coincidentally, the snake had intelligence on par with humans. He was even able to speak to the doctor. After many conversations, they became great friends. The doctor even gave him a name, Pew Pew. Sadly, Pew Pew is not meant to be in this world. The Adams' body became unstable and he was beginning to die. It looks painful. To save Pew Pew's life, Dr. Pew created a robot body for him. And then he carefully placed his barely animated body into it. Thankfully, it was a success. Pew Pew was saved. However, Dr. Pew is caught in an accent too horrible to explain. With Dr. Pew Pew gone, no one was able to keep maintenance on Pew Pew. Oh no. Eventually, it got to the point where he would overheat in seconds. There was only one remedy to this fatal flaw. To live in the land of cold and ice right outside. Doesn't seem too bad. Don't worry. Look at, look at, nice and cool here. Nice and cool. I know, I know, but don't worry. More cold. It can also be like a tiny pew pew. Don't worry, there's tons of cold air coming through. I don't know how to like use that, like melt that crystal. Do I need to be like even warmer? When does it melt? Do we get cooler by melting it? Yeah, we do. Interesting. 